hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are gonna see how to run the k file so you have seen my previous videos about ls diana but there was no videos about how to run your k file once you generate in ls diana pre post so in this video i will show you how to run the k file using both ansys as well as ls diana manager so now we are going to run the ls diana k file for that you can do using two software one you can directly run in ls diana manager and the another one you can use ansys software now there are ansys student version where you can download freely and you can use uh, that software so now first i am going to show how to run your k file in ansys software for that purpose you have to open mechanical apdl product launcher let's go and open the tool so here you can see simulation environment it says ansys ansys batch and then ls diana solver so now we are going to run the k file right so for that we have to use ls diana solver click that one then here also you can choose multiple license mostly i use ansys ls diana so just click that one so in my previous video i have uploaded some videos about deep drawing process so i'm just gonna use some existed um, file and i'm gonna run the k file so for that first you have to open your working directory so now i'm going to open my existed folder in my case i saved with the folder name with drawbit so i'm gonna select that folder name now i finished selecting my working folder now i have to select my input file here it says keyword input file so for that i'm going to open my uh, file from my working folder let's do that one so now i selected my uh, final file so keep in mind that when you are running your ls diana k file you have to make sure that there is no spaces in your folder for example either it can be your working folder or the file where you saved so make sure that there is no spaces for example here i put underscore in order to remove the spaces also you can remove this one and then keep all the words together but sometimes you know the wrong names will lead to some confusion so for that i just put the underscore and then i split the words and you can do the same so the main thing there should be no spaces in between the uh, names when you uh, name your folder so now everything is perfect just run the file in my case i cannot show you how to run this one in the next step so until then if you follow the steps and then if you simply click the run then the file will start to run in my case i don't have a license for ansys so that's why it's not working uh, it won't work if i run so in your case you have to download any student version and if you try the same method and it will work so make sure that you are using either crack or licensed version but there should be a proper uh, selection such as simulation environment and license file so that it will work but you have to follow the steps what i did here so hope it will work for you if you have any question just post it if there is any problem when you are running the file so now let's use ls diana manager to run the same k file so for that i have to open my ls diana manager so in order to run the same k file you can also use ls diana program manager so in this case if you see it says solver right you just go there and then click start ls diana analysis and then in that case it will ask two things one is your uh, input file and where you are going to select so if you click the browse and then you can select your you know input file uh, from your working directory so i am using the same k file which i used for ansys so you just simply click that file and then it will show uh, this is the input file what we have given and uh, in the same output folder we will get our outputs and then you just simply run it will start to work so you have to wait for some time it's best on your computer speed it will work so you try this method and then if you have any questions you please let me know and i will try to answer for your questions please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed and then turn on the notification so once i put the new video or tutorial you will get notified and until then see you in my next video take care and stay safe and see you guys soon